Welcome to CAN TV. I'm Alexandra Todd, and I will be talking to David Abrahamson about what it is like being an artist during the pandemic and participating in a virtual art fair. Hi, Mr. Abrahamson. Thank you so much for making the time today. Hi, thanks for having me. I would like to start with asking, how long have you been a painter of abstract art, and have you always been a creator? Um, actually, I've been a creator for about uh, 35, 40 years. Uh, before I started painting, I was a digital artist. So uh, I was one of the first digital artists that came out that worked in Photoshop uh, way back in the day. Um, I've actually transitioned from digital to painting six years ago. So awesome. I'm fairly new, but uh, I understand how, how color works and uh, I love doing it. That's, that's what's important. Um, I wanted to ask, what has been your experience as an artist during the pandemic? Has COVID-19 affected your business? Yeah, it has. It's actually been real challenging in, in terms of uh, monetary and motivation. Um, last year before the pandemic or the, the previous season, um, I was in 16 art festivals, which would be a normal season for me. Uh, last season, uh, because of the pandemic, only one show uh, went on, and that was in Alexandria, Virginia. And it was a success successful show. Uh, there were a lot of uh, uh, customers that came out to see the show, and uh, everybody was being really respectful in terms of uh, the health guidelines, following the health guidelines. Um, another thing, um, other than monetary um, and how that affected me, uh, is uh, motivation. Um, sometimes I found that uh, over the period of, uh, uh, of time, I wouldn't have the motivation to paint for, for up to two weeks at a time. And then as, as it became closer to the show season, then uh, I became more motivated and the amount of work that I, uh, I would do would, would increase pretty rapidly to where I've used up all my supplies uh, that I accumulated uh, over the summertime, over last season that I didn't use. Okay, that's a great point about on motivation. Uh, going off of the, the fairs and festivals you mentioned, you're participating this year in Chicago's 57th Street Fair, and this year they're going virtual. Is this your first virtual fair, or how do you feel about that? Um, yeah, it is, and um, I'm hoping it won't be a virtual fair in the end. I hope they have the actual live show. Um, however, uh, if they don't, um, hopefully traffic will be driven to my website. And I've noticed that an increase of traffic in my website since I uh, have uh, entered the virtual fair. Yeah, definitely um, an adjustment. And you kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier, but the differences between this year and last year obviously um, are very big. Is there something that stood out for you that was most challenging? Uh, yeah, uh, it, it, you know, when I make most artists will make the, the majority of their money through their art. And uh, for me, that's the same way. Uh, I need the art shows uh, in order to be able to, to sell my work. Uh, photography alone just doesn't really uh, show how the texture works and how the light hits the texture. It's something that you have to see in person. And often I, I, uh, I ask people to touch the paintings which they're reluctant to do, but they're pretty sturdy. But, uh, you know, w when you have the tactile experience of touching and seeing, and then actual light hitting and bouncing off of the textures, um, it makes a huge difference over a photograph, at least for my work. Got it. So you're, you're looking forward to more of a tangible experience. Um, and so it, with that in mind, going forward, you mentioned you hope that the virtual might be turned into an in-person. Do you think um, as things are slowly coming back to normal, that uh, what, what are your plans as an artist moving forward with these changes? Um, I don't see why not uh, that things get, can be, get back to more normal where uh, uh, the shows uh, can have uh, a certain protocol, uh, just like when, when the show that I was in in Arlington, Virginia, um, you have a line of people, they allow a certain number of people in during the show in, into the venue at one time. People are ha have been happy to stand in line and just to get into the show. The artists are happy to be there and the patrons 
are happy to uh, be there too and view the art. Um, I don't see why uh, uh, the Chicago Cubs and the White Sox can have an opening and an art show or outside controlling uh, the amount of people into a venue can't. So if the Cubs can do it and the Sox can do it, the 57th Street Art Show and any other art show within the city or outside the city should also be able to do it. I definitely stand by that statement. Well, I wanted to thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Good luck and have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm Alexandra Todd and thank you for watching everyone.